If you break environmental process engineering up into its individual terms, we start with the word environment. The environment is everything that surrounds us, where we live, the natural world as a whole, or an area in which human activity exists. A process is a series of steps or actions to achieve a particular end goal. Engineering is the application of the scientific, economic, social, and practical knowledge to invent, design, build, maintain, and improve the structures, machines, and devices around us. When we combine all three of these terms, we can define environmental process engineering as the integration of the sciences and engineering to develop systems that will improve our environment. In reality, environmental process engineering is a multidisciplinary field which includes typical engineering as well as other scientific fields to solve such diverse problems as solid waste management, water supply, and treatment, and air pollution. Environmental engineering is not a new field. The Mesopotamians, Egyptians, Greeks, and others all had some form of drainage and sanitation facilities. The Indus Valley civilizations also had advanced control of their water resources, as did the Romans who constructed aqueducts. In more recent times, environmental engineering came to the fore during the Great Stink of London. During this time, it also emerged as an academic discipline of its own. Environmental engineering comes with its own challenges. Can we get pollution-free energy? Agriculture is important to all of us, yet it can contribute as a large polluter. Mining is important to many economies, yet can produce large amounts of waste. Bottled water has become popular, yet empty bottles can lead to great sources of plastic pollution. There are also various examples of industrial facilities or sites that have had major incidents which have led to avoidable disasters as well as the loss of lives. As such, we are going to talk about process safety, loss prevention, and occupational health and safety as part of environmental engineering. Here, we deal with the safety measures to avoid instances like these. In this course, we will look at snapshots of different aspects of environmental engineering, as well as ways to reduce impacts on the environment and loss of life. One of these aspects of environmental engineering will be alternative and renewable sources of energy. These include solar, wind, and biomass versus non-renewable sources such as coal, natural gas, or oil. Freshwater is a vital aspect of environmental engineering, where we see that only 1% of the Earth's water is available for human consumption. This makes it important to make sure that we take care of our natural resources without wasting. To make sure that we make the most of water, we are going to look at engineering measures to treat water to remove chemical and microbiological contaminants. Wastewater engineers are going to be key to provide clear, pathogen-free, and potable water. Environmental engineers are also responsible for proper solid waste management. In South Africa, we dispose of enough municipal solid waste to fill a football field 10 meters deep every day. As such, there is a need for proper design and planning of waste disposal sites. Additionally, there are hazardous and toxic wastes that may need to be treated or discarded correctly. These have the potential to be a substantial public health threat or cause other environmental damage. Lastly, air pollutant reduction is also a big part of environmental engineering. Particulate matter, nitrous oxide, ozone, sulfur dioxide, and odors all contribute negatively towards the environment. The global climate change phenomenon is also something of concern. Greenhouse gases trapped in the Earth's atmosphere warm the Earth's surface. In the last few decades, the concentration of CO2 in the atmosphere has risen from 280 to over 400 parts per million, also affecting global temperatures. As you can see, environmental engineering covers a vast array of disciplines. To fully appreciate the work, specialization is normally required. In this course, we will only touch on some of these listed here.